Hey friends! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been meaning to do this video now for... I actually don't know how long. <laughs> so as you can see, today we're going to be trying to test some kimchi chick cosmetics. And I'm honestly so, so excited. One thing I didn't do is I didn't get enough products for like a full face. I am aware that he hasn't got enough products for like a full face, like foundations or primers or anything. Well, not that I know of, but I have a few products here and we're going to try and test them anyway. So the first part I got was obviously the palette and the palettes are incredible. It was honestly so hard to try and pick one palette because I could have at least picked two or three or maybe four of the palettes, but I was just like, I can't do that. I have far too many palettes. So I went for this one and this is actually in collaboration with Naomi Smalls. So they have collaborated on this palette. And it is so, so amazing. So this is the Kimchi and the Only Smalls Two Queens, One Desert palette. And of course, all of his makeup is vegan friendly, cruelty free, etc. So this is the palette here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we obviously have our neutral tones. And of course, we have a load of bright tones as well. And a mixture of mattes and shimmers, etc. But what I like about this palette as well is if you kind of just turn it on its side, so it's kind of like this. I'm going to be zooming in a bit so you can see. So if we kind of have it like this, as we can see we have four rows. So these two rows here are Naomi's world, as you can see up here. Oops. Yeah, here. And then these two sides here are Kim Cheat's world. And then they also collaborated on a highlight and blush palette. So this is the Sunkist in June palette. And then just like the eyeshadows, again, we have the kind of like the same situation with down this side here is Kim Chi's preference of blush and highlight, you know what I mean? And then down this side here is Naomi Smalls. The moist, the moist, oh damn. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> that word. <laughs> The most concealer, one of their bronzers, which just looks like so really, really beautiful. And then of course I have the powder, which is the Puff Puff Pass Set and Beck Powder. And I got this in the shade Banana. Unfortunately guys, that's actually the only products that I have for today's video. I actually don't know why I didn't get more, like even a lip product. But of course I am wanting the main focus to be surrounded with the palettes. I'll actually swatch some of the shimmer shades first. For you so you can have a wee look at them. Oh that pink is absolutely beautiful. Oh so that's what they look like there. Absolutely beautiful shades so they are. And then I'm just going to swatch some of these matte shades for you. And that's what they look like. Oh look at that. See that green? That green is absolutely beautiful. I'll actually swatch some more for you on the other hand. These are so nice! And then that's some of the other shades. <gasps> Beautiful. I swear we'll get into the tutorial very soon. Um, but as for my eyeshadow look, I actually think I want to use some of the greens, like nearly as many green shades as I can. And then maybe use this green shimmer or something. So I just prepped my lids there with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm also going to take a wee shadow shield as well. This is kind of what we have going on so far. So I'm going into the palette and the first shade I took was, I think it was actually the black. So I started off with the black and, oh, <laughs> by the way, I took my nail off. I have it sitting here <laughs> because I applied a wee shimmer shade right in the inner corner. <laughs> the dedication is real. So yeah, I'm going to go into um, the black, which is called Sit Yourself. I'm just going to be applying this just as if I'm creating a just a wing, really. So it changed into still like a shading brush, but it's a bit more fluffy. I'm just going to go back and forth and blend this out. I'm going to blend it out too much, but. I'm just going to just slightly try and diffuse that line a bit. I next up took this shade here, which I don't know why I did because you can't even see it anymore because I completely covered it up, but I'm just going to repeat the process. <laughs> or all the steps, sorry. I'm actually going to bring that black in a wee bit more. Just 
And then I'm just going to press this green shade just right on top. Not right on top, but half on my lid and half on the black. <laughs> I feel like all of my makeup looks look like shit before they actually start to look like anything. So this is this is one of these looks, by the way. <laughs> It'll look a wee bit awful before we uh, start with our blending and stuff. But I'm just laying these shades down kind of as my, like my base work. into the brighter green now. We're going in with this yellow shade here. I'm just repeating those steps again. Okay, so now that we have those shades built up, those are the three shades I'm going to be kind of working with. And because we have them laid down as kind of like our base, I'm now going to go down through the shades again to start my packing of the pigment again and blending at the same time. So I'm going to go into... Oh! Um, what green was it we had used? This one? So this green here. pretty pissed the fact that you can't see how nice my flowers are in the background. <laughs> um, it was me and Kyle's anniversary on Sunday so me and Kyle have been together for eight years. So right now I am not caring too much about the black but I'm just packing this green shade on. Not too much though. Packing and blending as I go. And it might not seem as if I'm blending because I'm not using like your typical blender brush and I'm not going in circular motions. But one thing I like to do is I like to blend by pattern. You know, like this is still technically blending. Like this is blending, yes, but using these motions here is also blending. Doing this type of blending, like a pack and blending motion, you're being more precise with your blending. Whereas whenever you're blending in circular motions, you're kind of like piffed in the shade wherever whatever <laughs> um wherever whereas whenever you're packing you're you're blending yes but you're being more precise with your placement so it might look as if i'm just like patting these shades on or like packing it on but i'm kind of blending as i go so see the way it just nicely diffuses lines like you don't necessarily need to go in every single time with a blending brush or circular motion blending <laughs> but of course please do feel free to check your round blending brush because as you can see I have used it on this side here and I'm just gonna use this just in the other corner but I also want to mention as well whenever I'm patting by blending I'm not like swiping don't ever swipe because you do not want to lift the product or you don't want to lift any underlying product. Um, so I'm just going to take this wee fluffy brush here now and I'm actually just going to blend this. <laughs> so I'm taking this time now to really perfect that blend between the green and the yellow now. And then whenever I applied the yellow, I knew that I wanted to apply a shimmer yellow on top. So I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Glow Sticks, this wee one here. And then I also have the BH Cosmetics Trans Pigment in Insomnia. But then I kind of thought, why am I picking out these shimmery yellow shades whenever there's a yellow shimmer in the palette? Twat. <laughs> this shade here, so yeah. I'm just bringing it up round and slightly blending it into that green, slightly hitting that brow bone as well. I'm now going to go into the black shade. Now I'm just going to start to deepen up that black and start to kind of like diffuse the black as well. So using this blending technique where I just pat I especially like to use this technique um, with the black. I know I could go in with like a really, really small, wee precise blending brush so that it doesn't blend out too far or too much or too crazy or anything. But I don't know, I just really like this technique. You can see already how it's just diffusing. 
and then of course because I'm not going in with like a blending brush and I'm not like necessarily lifting up any of the product to like blend out and move the shadow um because I'm patting at it I'm still maintaining the pigment or like how intense the pigment is And I also just want to mention, I'm going back in with this wee brush here, that's not what I want to mention, but I just want to mention, same if I'm filming and I'm doing it like these wee makeup looks, it honestly looks as if I'm able to really perfect my blend inside a minute because of the joys of editing, whereas like, I'm not even joking, this eye here took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get it really perfected and I'm still not finished with it yet um, because I still need to do like lashes and everything. But blending really is time consuming. Sometimes like, and I'm not talking about everybody else because I'm definitely talking about myself here. Like my YouTube videos can be sometimes maybe a wee bit deceiving to you because you might look at my videos and think, oh, well it's, ta it's taken her like such little time to blend out a particular shade. Like why does that not happen to me or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, like I have the joys of editing to actually speed myself up so I can like jump from section to section. Friggin' earring. Why do my earrings always fall out? It's very very time consuming and you do really need to take your time if you really want to perfect a blend. And I'm just gonna swip that right up so it looks like that. And I'm going to take this Maven Beauty liquid liner, the black one. And of course, because you're laying this down on top of the black, you can be as messy as you want. So I'm just going to apply a load of that and then quickly, straight away, I'm going to grab this wee packing brush. see this is my favorite part <laughs> mm, it looks okay so just before I apply some lashes I'm actually gonna go in with a wee bit more shimmer and I'm gonna take the yellow but I literally just want that swooped swooped <laughs> just right in at that inner corner I love how that shimmer looks. It's beautiful. It's really, really nice. Do you know, I'm actually so proud of myself at the minute at the amount of colourful makeup looks I'm doing. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> so I'm going to start the skin now, guys, and I'm going to be taking the Relove from Revolution. This is the H2O Hydrate Primer. This is a wee brand new brand <laughs> within Makeup Revolution, by the way. Um, all of their products are really, really cheap and affordable. I love the smell of this wee primer, it smells like cherries. <laughs> I actually have a full testing video of these products on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to give it a wee watch. But all of these products are like five pounds or under. So I think these wee primers are three or four pounds, um, which is <laughs> really affordable for a primer, right? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I'm using this foundation again. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. <laughs> I do not know how there's still foundation pumping out of this. It's so done. Though in all seriousness, who actually remembers the first time I tried this foundation? I was applying this yesterday because I was going out to get my COVID vaccine. And I was like, Jesus Christ, like, when am I ever going to make my way through this foundation? So I've been using this foundation for over a year now at this point, And, but... I was just thinking back to whenever I tried it for the very first time and it was actually in a full face of Too Faced makeup and I did not like this foundation at all. Like I did not like it. I did not understand what the hype was and it went in my drawer and it sat in my drawer for about two months and usually whenever it comes to base products like a foundation I usually like to give them another go and maybe try a different primer or apply it differently or whatever. I usually like to give it another go just to really make my mind up and anyway I brought it out of my drawer and I used it again for like the second time and 
<laughs> I've been obsessed ever since. The coverage is kind of like medium to full. Um, obviously you can keep it a wee bit more light coverage if you want, but you can obviously build it up to full coverage as well. But the finish is just, it's absolutely beautiful. So obviously let us know down below if you've tried this before and what your skin type is, but my skin's normal to dry and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love it. The finish to me is kind of like a satin finish. It's definitely not overly dewy, but it's definitely not matte. So it's definitely kind of like in between. You know, it dries down nicely, but it still has a nice wee sheen to it or a nice wee glow. So it's definitely more of like a nice wee satin finish. So yeah, I definitely would say it's it's such a great wee foundation. It's pricey, of course, with it being too faced, but it's definitely definitely worth it considering how long it has lasted and obviously considering how much I use as well like I'm an absolute keg face <laughs> then I'm going to take in the the most concealer can't believe I called it the moist concealer what's wrong with me <laughs> this is the multitask superstar concealer that's what it's actually called um I think so I got the shade Peachy Ivory and this is the packaging, it's a nice wee squeezy tube pale pink and it has kind of like a wee a brush tip applicator which I don't mind, I don't mind at all. Um, of course I would say if you are a makeup artist this probably isn't going to be the most hygienic for you. For, 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 for you. <laughs> um, unless you want to just like splat it on your foot. Um, Unless you want to just like press it out onto like your hand or something, but obviously it's fine. It's just it's just me. Oh, it's coming out the other side. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, do you know what? I'm actually happy enough. That looks okay actually. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be the type of concealer I will grab for though, but we'll see, we'll see. It looks grand actually, it looks okay. I'm actually gonna go off camera and apply a wee bit more just to sharpen up um, the outer corners here and then we'll see. Do you know what? Now that it's blent in and it's been sitting for a couple minutes, I really like it. I really, really like it. Yeah. I think I probably could get away with using a slightly darker shade. I definitely think it is really, really bright, but I love a bright under eye. It's definitely my favorite. I absolutely love it. And it's definitely full coverage as well. It has a really, really nice finish as well. It's not necessarily drying down matte or anything. Um, again, I'm just using this because I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> um, and this is just maybe one from W7. I think I seen on Instagram this morning that XX Revolution has came out with some cream bronzers. That's definitely my favorite makeup product. It was highlighters for a very long time and then it was like setting sprays and setting powders and I had an obsession with primers even though I feel like primers don't do anything for my skin. Um, <laughs> but see cream bronzers bronzing balms bronzing bases anything to bronze up the skin i'm all for that life but no they look really really good actually so can't wait to try them i'm kind of pissed off as well though because it's like can brands can brands please just stop <laughs> for like two weeks just two weeks just like stop with the releasing of products <laughs> like most of my money and my wages go to buying makeup um because i i get pr but i get that little pr that i still would say that i don't get pr this month i've received one package and it's like the end of may like <laughs> um no two two packages what am i talking about i've received two packages and they're both from be perfect cosmetics but yeah, so like because I don't get a lot of like makeup gifted to me and PR and everything, I feel like I spend a lot of money on makeup and it's not to say that I have to, but I like to keep like my channel pretty fresh for years and like use brand new products, you know what I mean? Um, because like let's just be honest, like so many other YouTubers get sent all the new products whereas I don't. <laughs> so 
I'm really looking forward to trying this as well. This is the Puff Puff Pass powder and it comes with a powder puff as well, which feels like literal luxury. This, I, don't, I'm, I don't even want to use that. That's how nice that feels. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna get one of my shitty old Makeup Revolution ones. So I'm just gonna put some powder just in the lid. Oh, and by the way, I got the shape banana. So I'm gonna take this wee Revolution powder puff and just press this in. Oh! <laughs> okay, so I don't know whether it's the powder or it's the powder puff. I used to use, if you've been watching my channel for quite a wee while now, you know that I used to use powder puffs like something shocking to back with with my powder. And I have been using them recently. I've been using like them wee squares, them wee like spongy squares. <laughs> So this is the first time I've used a powder puff in a very, very long time. So I don't know whether it's the powder or the puff. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's both. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, my instant first impressions is great. Gonna just take this wee brush. And not that there's anything to dust off, but I just want to give it just a wee dust anyway. And then I'm going to take the Dear Clars or Clars. Sorry, I'm just pushing my camera back. Um, and this is the Fundamental Ampule Mist. Oh, jeez, my, my rings nearly went flying there. So I'm just going to my face just to be dry with this fan. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with that powder. It hasn't made my under eyes look really, really overly dry. Of course, because I set with a pressed powder and then I went on and baked, let's just say, with another powder. Of course, my under eyes did look powdery. They did look dry. That's going to happen. That's natural. That's normal. Um, but it didn't make my under eyes look really, really overly dry and creepy. Like, creepy, crappy, whatever. <laughs> um... And uh, the shade of that powder as well was really, really nice. It kept the brightness within my under eyes. And yeah, my under eyes look great actually. Like it's a really, really nice wee fine powder as well. It's not too heavy or cakey looking. And then of course, I always like to go in with a set and spray just to kind of like bounce my skin back again to life and just to soak up any excess powder that might be lying on my skin anyway. So next up then for highlight and blush. I'm going to be taking the Kimchi and Naomi Smalls Sunkist and Gin Highlight and Blush Palette. I think this is honestly super super cute. Like, look at that packaging. As I was saying at the start of the video there, obviously we have Kimchi's World and Naomi Smalls World and I think I'm actually going to take a mixture of both. So for example, I'm going to take a uh, Naomi Smalls Blush. Can you even see? And then I'm going to be taking Kimchi's Highlighter. Whoa, okay, that's, that's bright. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know, it's not like me to be careful with highlighter. I'm usually extremely heavy handed, but I'm just gonna... <laughs> I have to say it's it's very intense. It is very, very intense. I don't want to say it's glittery, but it is. But it's just really, really shimmery and... I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? I have so many mixed feelings right now. I don't know how... Like, I don't really know what to think or what to say because like this is so my vibe. But I know that so many people will hate this. And so many people do not like a really intense blending highlight. I know that it is so outdated now and everybody's so into their and everybody's really into like their nice subtle um sun kiss glow highlights, which is perfectly fine. That's that's fab. I love that for you. But I've always been a blending highlight kind of gal, and that'll just be my vibe, and I love this. Whereas this is too much for most people. I do understand that and it's going to be too much for most people. Usually I will go on now with like a second highlight but damn. No. Just just no. I'm not going to do it. Although I might take the brush that I use because there might be 
some flexitarian on it. But, <laughs> but, oh my god. So I'm just gonna take this sheet here and I'm gonna be really light handed with this because I have a feeling that's gonna be <laughs> really pigmented. This is actually the last kimchi chick makeup product that I have here to try and test and this is the bronzer. Please excuse my dodgy fake tan <laughs> but this is the packaging and I think it is super super cute. So I think it's called the Taylor bronzer or Tyler? Sealer? Why am I such an idiot? And it's in the shade 03 I went to Venice. So that's what it looks like there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm just kind of hoping that this is, this is my shade or it looks okay. Give it a swatch. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. It just looks like a nice wee caramely toned color. Yeah, that's a nice wee bronzer actually. Perfect. Really, really nice wee colour. Hopefully that blush kind of comes down a wee bit. I think I applied a wee bit too much. What's new? Okay, my loves. So I'm now going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to do my lower lash line, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be taking the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This one here. And it's in the shade Electric Daisy. Okay, that looks all right, but these wee gel liners aren't as pigmented as the ones from LA Girl. So as you can see, I also just went on and done my lip liner. I used the ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF3. So for my lower lash line, guys, I used, well, I just tightly put the black quite tight to my lower lash line and I slightly blended it out a wee bit and then went in with this green shade here. Yeah so for my lips I'll finish off my lips because I want to do something um, else with my eyes. I have this Technique Velvet Lip Colour in the shade Tea Rose. Oh it's very pale. I'm just going to take some of my Burberry oh, uh, lip cream. I always like to say that I'm putting this just in the centre to lighten everything up but I love it that much that I just end up putting it everywhere. <laughs> it's so good. Then I was Okay, I'll use it. <laughs> this is the, again, from Relove slash Makeup Revolution. It's their baby gloss. Super, super cute wee gloss. And it's in the shade Cream. These wee lip glosses, by the way, are incredibly pigmented. And they're only like three pounds as well. So I'll give you some wee zoom in anyway, because I actually went and done like this wee cat eye inner corner situation i just thought it would go really well with like the big smoky wing <laughs> this comes to you at the end of this tutorial thank you so 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 much for watching and i am overly really really impressed with these products and do you know what i wasn't expecting any less anyway um I knew that they were going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, the palette was so, so good. I will definitely try and use some more of these shades in a future tutorial. I think it would be nice to actually do something with the blue or these blues or the pinks or something. Or even something with the nice neutral shades. But overall, the palette was really, really nice. It was nice to work with. Really, really intensely pigmented. It was beautiful. And the shades as well, with them being really, really pigmented, they were really easy to blend. And they blended really well with each other. Too. But I did hope you enjoyed anyway guys nonetheless and all the products that I did use will be listed and linked down below in the description box. I also just want to mention that, that I was actually able to get these kimchi products off Beauty Bay so I'll have them listed and linked down below for you anyway along with my Instagram and Twitter so don't forget to go and follow me on those and again 
Thank you all so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please be kind, look after yourselves and each other, and I shall see you in my next video.